are you buying Robux or redeeming a gift card soon? Well, use code MEGANPLAYS while doing so to help support the channel. Hey, what is up, guys? It's Megan. Welcome back to my channel, PG Squad. Today, I'm so excited because we have brand new news about Adopt Me and what is coming in the following month. Let's get into it. Here we are in Adopt Me today. I am claiming my drum roll, please. 450. 24 day lock in day streak. Let me know what yours is down below. And then of course, last but not least, we have our lovely reminder to use code MEGANPLAYS when purchasing Robux. Also, like, subscribe. You know the drill. If you love Adopt Me videos, I post Adopt Me every single day and I am starting to live stream. While I'm on the sell promotion, I upload to my real life channel twice a week. It's at Megan, it's down below. I just uploaded the vlog where I changed my hair and soon I am going to be sharing some really interesting vlogs. So you guys wanna go over and check it out. Okay, I'm so excited because I as we know, in 2020, Adopt Me really slowed down their updates, but it seems like they might be ramping back up for 2021. Let's get into it. I think I said that already. I, th I think. I think I've been trying to get into it for like a little bit now. So here we are on Adopt Me's Twitter. This is where they share all of their news and over on their Instagram. If you guys wanna follow me on either of those, it's at Megan Plays, more self promo, I am sorry. So look at this guys, we got, are you ready to decorate? So we are taking a look at a brand new house. Now there is no doubt about it that this is a very um, either Japanese or Chinese inspired build. Of course, um, we have the Chinese lanterns hanging above there, I always, hate to sound ignorant whenever I talk about Chinese or Japanese culture because I'm from the US. I, I just, I, my knowledge is not that deep. Adopt Me tends to have a lot of interest in these cultures, so I definitely need to do some studying up. But regardless, I think that this is going to be coming in the new New Year's, the new Chinese New Year's celebration. Because every year, Adopt Me does a Lunar New Year celebration update. Last year, we had those wrap boxes where you could also buy pandas, and then they had a few things, and they've also shared a little bit more. So guys, before we get into it, let me let me look up the date for the Lunar New Year. The Chinese New Year um, is typically on February 12th, or New Year 2020 is on February 12th, and it's the year of the ox. 2020 was the year of the rat, so this year is the year of the ox, which is really interesting. We did just get a musk ox added into the game, so I don't know if they're going to be adding any more ox type pets or if it would just be kind of too close for them to add another ox into the game. You never know. I am super excited for a brand new house. I think it's been kind of a while since they've added a new house into the game, so that should be really fun. They are also holding right now an Adopt Me coloring contest. Hashtag color adopt me coloring pages challenge. I actually want to do this. I think I might print this out and give it a little bit of a color. What do you guys think? Maybe we could even do it on stream together. That might be fun. Um, I could color in Photoshop. I only have a mouse, I so um, probably wouldn't go so well, but if you guys want to join the contest, there's info on their blog at play.me or playadopt.me <laughs> right there. Oh my gosh, I was just talking about wanting to color it and now I'm thinking I should just quit before I even start. This is amazing. This is by Bongo Lad. So here is their coloring page, hashtag color adopt me, hashtag adopt me. Wow, wowie, 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 they shared it. Wow, that's so good. It's time to give away some Frost Furies. That's awesome. Like I said, I should just quit before I even get started because that's really good. Now, look at this guy. So this was shared on January 16th, so about a week ago, a few days ago. The new guardian in town. Of course, this looks like it could be a red dragon or a red lion. Now, I'm not sure. It does look like maybe a traditional lunar new year. There's like something on my nose. It's like a hair. Hold on. Hold on. What is that? Is it a hair? Is it like a... There it is. I got it, it was a hair. This is like a red dragon, I suppose. It looks very, very interesting, and I have no doubt that this could be a brand new legendary pet coming to adopt me. Now, I would even probably venture to say that this could be um, a variety of a certain type of pet. For example, if they're releasing maybe a lion box, kind of how they released the rat box last year, and then you had regular rats, and then a golden rat, maybe they're releasing a lion box, and then this is like the golden lion. Regardless, he's so cool. This this art design totally reminds me of Wind Waker, Legend of Zelda, um, the red dragon boat. This guy right here, do you guys see this? Wind Waker was like my childhood growing up. I've played this game like, like five times and I will pick it up any day of the week. I don't care, I love this game. But yeah, it's kind of reminiscent of that, which is kind of cool and very exciting for me at least. <laughs> we also have this. So Adami shared a picture of these. I think that they're like lunar cakes maybe. Um, I'm not sure. I don't understand how they got so many cakes from the moon. Moon cakes, moon cakes. 
A Chinese bakery product traditionally eaten during mid-autumn festival. This festival is about lunar appreciation and moon watching. The moon cakes are regarded as an indispensable delicacy. Moon cakes are offered between friends or family gatherings while celebrating the festival. So although it is a mid-autumn thing, I think that they could definitely be incorporating these into the Lunar New Year update, which is very exciting. And they said, huge thank you to our Chinese players who pointed out that moon cakes aren't traditionally eating their Lunar New Year. I literally just said that and now I feel very smart for reading the first paragraph on wiki. We'll bring them back later in the year when it's appropriate. So next update is Lunar New Year and we'll share more of what's coming. That's so funny. Okay, so we're not actually getting these in this update. And then here guys, this is so exciting. Which egg would you like to replace the fossil egg? Asking for a friend. And of course, it's them. There's no other game putting um, these eggs in their game. So of course we have the ocean egg, the household egg, the mythical egg, and the rule egg. I said, the egg because that's what I really wanted at the beginning of the year. I wanted the pet dolphins and the orca whales and all the cute little sea pets. But you know, it looks like I think they're gonna actually end up doing the mythical egg. There's something on my gut that's telling me that this one might just be a little bit more doable for the time span that they have, unless they're actually planning on doing um, this in the summer, then maybe I could see like a ocean egg, like summer egg, like beach egg, something like that. Like imagine a beach egg. What animals? live on the beach. Do any just like seagulls? Oh my gosh, a seagull pet. Okay, we're really getting into it guys. So I said sea egg and then Josh said egg egg didn't make the list. This is unfair. It should be eggs all the way down. I agree. Just any egg at this point. I will take any egg. So guys, I think that's like all the news we had. They did have a tweet where they were like, let's settle this. Let's do a retweet, a share. Of, but it, I think it might have got deleted because I'm not seeing it. Okay, I think it was deleted. But basically it was a tweet that said like retweet for sea egg, like for mythic egg, comment for household egg, or was it rule egg? I don't know. But I really think that they're flirting probably more with the idea of the mythic egg. Although I don't know what would be in there. I don't know if they'll cross over over from doing animals to maybe like fairies, which would be cool. I would like a pet fairy. When I search up mythical creatures, we have unicorns and dragons, which are already in the game. We have a werewolf, Loch Ness Monster, Griffin, which we have in the game, a sphinx, a centaur, Pegasus, um, which we don't have in the game. <gasps> Can you imagine a Pegasus pet? That would be cute. Yeti we have in the game, a leprechaun. I, oh, I typed in creature, not animal. So I was like, wait, what? So we have fairy, mermaid. So I doubt that they'll have some of the more humanoid ones, but of course we have a basculus, a manticore, which I don't even know what that is. <laughs> a troll, merman, sea serpent, a kelpie. So there are actually tons of things that they have yet to add that they could definitely incorporate from maybe mythical creatures. I mean, for example, I think my favorite would be a pegasus. Oh my gosh, guys. I know you guys have seen Hercules. I think everyone has. The pegasus from Hercules. Look at him. He's so cute. And I know you can like get him in plushy form at Disney. Love that. Super cute. And overall would just adore one of these little babies to come to adopt me. See, this, this is the one they have at Disney. It's got the really long tail. Okay, I've gone on this for too long. Now, when I type in sea creatures, I don't like that. I don't like that. That's scary. I don't like that. I'm thinking probably more, oh no, not an angler fish. Those scare me. What about one of these? That's cute. Oh no. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean for this video to become a scary one. Some of these creatures just scare me. Okay, so here we go. Like a, an orca whale or, um, oh wait, that's a blue whale. Right here, an orca whale or a killer whale, but that's kind of graphic. We have narwhals, octopuses or octopi, sea turtles. Oh my gosh, could you guys imagine? Wait, we already have a turtle. It's not a, he's not a sea turtle though. He's just a regular, a regular turtle. We could definitely see a sea turtle coming. And I was mentioning in a video, um, it's coming out in a couple days. I moved some things around to do this video that I could picture the pets, the sea pets acting like the frost fury because the reasoning that they weren't bringing a sea egg into the game was because the game mechanic simply did not support underwater like animations. But look at this. This looks fantastic. So you could definitely replace this image with maybe like a, a dolphin, a shark, a turtle. Like I think they could all kind of have that motion. Although they're floating in air, I really think that they could really take it even a step further and add little bubble particle effects to like their nose or something to insinuate like, yes, they are technically underwater, even if it doesn't look like it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you loved it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Check out the videos over here if you liked them. Lastly, do not forget to hashtag stay PG, stay kind. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.